When it comes to active recovery, this is a time for us to uh, rest the body um, or change into different types of movement to just really take time to remove ourselves from the practice, but still maintain that conscious attention or mindfulness on our rest day. So active recoveries are great. And um, it, we don't want to just be immobile and we don't want to just be mindless. We actually want to use this time to, to be more conscious, to, be, uh, to continue that awareness that the yoga practice brings. Uh, rest is going to be super important as we move forward and learn more postures and learn and go deeper into the Ashtanga yoga practice because we're really going to be working physically. And research shows that rest is so important. A lot of times our muscles are rebuilding when we rest and also when we sleep. So it's so important that we utilize those rest days as well as get adequate sleep at the same time. So with active recovery, there'll, there'll be different types of active recovery where we're keeping that mental focus or mindfulness and maybe not moving the body so much. But there's other active recoveries where we'll be walking in nature or you can go for a light bike ride and it's good to have some type of movement to, to keep the circulation going in the body and to still not just be immobile, not just to like have no movement at all. And in many ways as human beings, we're meant to move and moving is very healing. We're just changing up the movement and giving that time to do something a little bit different um, that goes outside of the actual yoga practice.